Well, welcome back everyone. Glad you could join us. So today's project is another walking stick, actually five walking sticks for the grandchildren. I thought it would be neat uh, to give them each their own personalized walking stick in their favorite color. So we did that and uh, you can see how we make the simple walking stick in another video. I'll link that in the, the description below. But uh, what I did was I picked out uh, some Scrabble letters and I made a jig to recess them into the handle of the walking stick so it turned out pretty good and I uh, wanted to show you how I did that. So uh, let's get started. So the idea behind the project is we want to personalize our walking sticks by placing Scrabble letters on our walking stick. So we have to make a recessed groove to accept the letters. But uh, all the walking sticks are of course organic in shape and different sizes and textures and uh, so we have to be able to find a way to get all the Scrabble letters to lay flat. So on a side view here, because again all the walking sticks are different in shape, we want to be able to have a flat surface to receive the Scrabble letters, so we'll need a jig to do that. So uh, the jig that I've come up with for routering the uh, Scrabble letters into a groove on the walking stick is as follows. I have some 5 8 Baltic birch. You can use whatever you like, but then you'll have to accommodate uh, whatever thickness you're using in your measurements. Mine ends up being uh, for an average size of a walking stick to be two and a quarter, and uh, that's probably as large as it'll get. And then uh, a clamping block on the inside of five eighths and the box itself of five eighths, which ends up being uh, four and three quarters. So the overall length, again, you can make it whatever you like to accommodate as many letters as you like, but we can go up to about eight to 10 letters here. Now, uh, uh, most names are on average six, so this should be plenty. So um, again, we want to have a slot to accommodate the collar and the bit, and then of course the offset from the bit, which ends up being from my setup to be 5 30 seconds. So the average size of a Scrabble piece is 11 16 wide, uh, plus the 5 30 seconds times two. So you have to of course account for both sides, right? So uh, it ends up being about an inch. And uh, what I've done is I've got two clamping blocks and I'm just using some bolts I've got out of my scrap bins. And then on the inside face of the box, you want to drill a hole and then hammer in the nuts for those bolts so that when you tighten the bolts, they'll tighten against the outside of the box. And uh, you assemble it all with glue and screws and uh, we're gonna give it a try and see if it works. All right, so we've got all of our pieces cut. And uh, so the one on the very right is the top with the one inch slot for the collar and the bit. And then the bottom, the two sides with the uh, nuts uh, hammered into a hole with a hole drilled all the way through it. And you'll see that, uh, how I figured that out in a minute. And then two clamp pieces for the bolts to push against. So we'll assemble that and uh, give it our initial try. Okay, so before I put the top on, I thought it would uh, do a quick clip on how I thought this would work. So you tighten the bolts and it pushes against the two uh, pieces of plywood and it pushes the walking stick tight to the underside of the slot so you can uh, router in your Scrabble pieces. So here's our final jig. We've got uh, all the spacers made for the number of letters. Of course, with a shorter name, you have to have a longer spacer because you want the collar to stop uh, to make the groove smaller for the letters. It's kind of counterintuitive, of course, but uh, the largest number we've kind of accommodated for eight letters. If you need more or less, you can make your jig smaller or bigger. But uh, this is what I was talking about with the bolts on the outside. So if you can kind of see that on the inside, I've got the bolts protruding through into the nuts. And as that tightens against the clamping face, then uh, those nuts will push against the outside of uh, the box and then in turn clamp the walking stick on the interior of the box. So just a quick glimpse of the first walking stick clamped into the jig. The little blocks of course they uh, push into a v-groove pushing the walking stick to the top of the jig. All right well we've got our test piece in and we've got the bolts tightened down. Now you don't want to over tighten it but uh, just enough that uh, your walking stick doesn't move. And uh, we're gonna run a test on our test piece and uh, see how the Scrabble pieces fit. Okay, we've got our 1 8 router bit centered in the collar. The depth we're going to be probably adjusting once we run a test with our test piece that's already been clamped into the jig. 
and uh, we've got the bolts tightened, not overly tightened, but uh, this thing's not moving for one eighth router bit. So we're going to run a test and then we'll make some adjustments. Of course, it'll be different for every, every handle because every handle is slightly different, but uh, we'll get a good idea on how this jig works in uh, just a minute. All right, well, we've got our first attempt done. Looks like we've got a pretty good clean cut, flat bottom. And this is where the spacers come in. So if you want a uh, four letter word, of course, uh, or a three letter word, then you put in a different spacer. All right, well, I think the uh, concept works. We're gonna have to make some fine tuning and uh, figure out a way to center that slot on the walking stick itself. Probably align where we want it to be and then line it up with the center of uh, the jig and then maybe adjust our depths a little bit. But I think the, the concept is uh, not too bad, with just a little bit of fine tuning. All right, so this time I uh, made a pencil line on the walking stick where I wanted the lettering to be centered. And I lined it up with the center of the slot. So hopefully take two will uh, solve one of our adjustment problems. Well, I think take two worked out quite well. Now we got to work on depth and length of the name. Of course, each name has a different number of letters and uh, yeah, thankful our daughter didn't name their son Bartholomew because it would have taken up the entire walking stick. Well, we've got our jig set up for our first attempt. We're gonna do a four letter word. Now the problem with Scrabble letters is that uh, they're not all the same size. But the nice thing about Scrabble letters is that they're wood, and if they're a little bit too big, you can always sand them down a little bit. So that's what we're going to do, make our groove a little bit smaller. Well, my first attempt at uh, setting some letters into the walking stick seems to be okay. They fit nicely. They're uh, just a little bit proud of the walking stick. They need a little bit of tweaking on the Dremel sander, but overall I think it turned out okay. Well, all the sticks are sanded, ready to be stained, and of course not one is the same color. So we asked our grandkids what their favorite color was. We're going to try and get as close as possible to that. But yeah, I think overall they turned out okay. Well, we've got uh, two coats of clear on there. Now it's time to fit the pieces in. And uh, we've got our little Dremel sander ready and we're going to start fitting the pieces. After we get them all fitted, we'll get some two-part epoxy and glue them in place. Well, with a little bit of sanding, the Scrabble pieces fit in quite nice. Now we're going to two-part epoxy them in place. Well, the walking sticks for the grandkids are done. I think they turned out just great. And uh, the names are in, and the paracord handles are on. Yeah, really happy with the result of these. So hopefully they'll be well received on Christmas Day. And I believe it's Jacob for the win on Triple Word Score. All right, well, that concludes today's project of uh, five walking sticks for the grandkids. Now I've got two more to come, but they're too small. They're just starting to walk, so uh, I'll have to make something a little bit later for them. 
But no, uh, really happy with the result. And uh, we're glad that you could join us. And if you enjoyed this video, we would love it if you would subscribe, like, and share. And join us again for another video coming soon. Thanks for watching.